At the beginning of the film, we are introduced to an evil wizard named Galleon, where Galleon is dating Muriela, the daughter of the most powerful wizard in the kingdom. At that moment, Galleon absorbs Muriela's magic through her mouth, but Muriela is unaware of it because she is in love with him. The scene then shifts to a farm where a nameless farmer, simply referred to as Farmer, is harvesting with his son, Jeff. Although he works as a farmer, Farmer has the strength of a warrior and is also an expert in using weapons. Not long after, his friend Norik, who is a livestock farmer, arrived carrying a pick. While chatting, Norik informs him that the kingdom is recruiting new soldiers. So Norik suggests that Farmer should enlist as a soldier, but Farmer is not interested at all, as he already has a family and lives comfortably as a farmer. As the day already evening, Farmer then invites Norik for dinner. During the meal, Jeff mentions Norik's suggestion that his father should become a soldier. Upon hearing this, Farmer's wife named Solana disapproves, and Farmer reassure his wife that he does not want to sacrifice himself for the king. The next day, Solana bids farewell to Farmer to visit her parents' house, where Solana also takes Jeff along, because he hasn't seen his grandparents in a long time. During the journey, Solana explains why Jeff's father doesn't have a name. Apparently, Farmer is an adopted child raised by Norik and the villagers, where Farmer lost his parents before he could be named, so the villagers choose to call him as a boy. But as he grew up, Farmer didn't like this nickname because he was often bullied by the local children, so he preferred to be called by his occupation. Upon arriving at their destination, Solana immediately helps the villagers who are harvesting. At that moment, Solana wants to set an example for Jeff to become a good and proper farmer. Afterward, Solana takes Jeff to meet his grandmother. Besides his grandmother, there is also Bastion, Solana's younger brother. Meanwhile, his grandfather has not yet returned from work. On the other hand, King Conrad as the most powerful ruler of the kingdom was seen having lunch with his nephew named Duke Fallow. While they were eating, a soldier suddenly reported that many demons called Krugs were rebelling. Upon hearing this, the king found it impossible for Krug to fight while using swords and the king is very sure that they are being controlled magic. Meanwhile, Muriela is seen reading her father's book of magic. While reading the book, her father named Merrick approaches her. At that moment, Muriela expresses her desire to work at the palace with him, but Merrick doesn't allow it because it is very dangerous. Apparently Merrick didn't want anything bad to happen to his daughter, just like his wife who died in the palace because of magic and deceitful people. Returning to Farmer, who hears a strange sound while chopping wood. Because he was curious about the sound, Farmer decided to look for the source of the sound. Not long afterward, Farmer was suddenly attacked by Krug while he was looking for the sound. At that time, he was also shocked by the Krug that seemingly possessed state. The Krug surround and mercilessly assault Farmer, but fortunately, he quickly utilizes his sword skills and techniques, allowing him to defeat them. After the fight, Farmer sees black smoke coming from Norik's house and realizes that the farm is also under attack by the Krug. Upon arriving at Norik's farm, Farmer doesn't hesitate and immediately fights the Krug there. Through their teamwork, Farmer and Norik manage to kill the Krug. After the fight, Farmer decided to head to Stone Bridge Village where his family was and Norik also decided to help him. Meanwhile, Muriela was seen practicing swordsmanship with her friend named Teresh, who is the strongest war commander in the kingdom. Apparently, Muriela wants to join the army, but Teresh advises her to seek Mersic's blessing first. However, Muriela has never been allowed to work at the palace. Shortly after, Duke Fallow suddenly appears and orders Teresh to prepare the troops. Upon hearing this, Teresh is slightly annoyed because he orders him as if Duke Fallow were the king. On the other hand, Solana immediately sounds the alarm bell to evacuate the villagers after she sees the Krug approaching the Stone Bridge village. Unfortunately, the Krug moved faster and started attacking the village. Not long after, Farmer and Norik finally arrive at Stone Bridge village, where they swiftly eradicate the Krug with their fighting skills. However, after being killed, more Krux continued to arrive, some even riding horses carrying spears. Farmer then rushes to his wife's family to ask about Solana's whereabouts. Unfortunately, Solana is still in the bell tower and trapped among the Krug. Without wasting time, Farmer runs toward the tower, aided by Norik and Bastion. Meanwhile, it is finally revealed that the Krug are indeed controlled by magic, with Galleon being the mastermind behind the chaos. 
Galleon then uses the Krug to massacre everyone, including Farmer and his family. When Farmer arrived at the Bell Tower, he saw that the tower was already on fire and Solana was nowhere to be seen. Suddenly, a Krug on horseback enters his wife's family's house, forcing Farmer to return quickly before the Krug can kill his family. However, Farmer arrived late, and both of his in-laws had already died. At that moment, Farmer immediately holds off the Krug and tells Jeff to run away. As the situation intensifies, the Krug suddenly start to retreat. However, one Krug chases Jeff into the bushes and killed him. That evening, Farmer buries his son and his in-laws' bodies assisted by Bastion and Norik. After that, Farmer also asks Norik to make another gravestone for Solana. However, Norik refuses, believing that Solana might still be alive, as no one has seen her body. On the other hand, Duke Fallow is at Galleon's place, and it is revealed that they have been collaborating to seize power from King Conrad by using the Krug. After that, Duke Fallow can ascend to the throne, and Galleon will be appointed as his advisor. However, Galleon's plan is hindered by the presence of Farmer, who turns out to be very strong. The next day, King Conrad leads his army to the village to pay respects to the fallen villagers. During the journey, Merrick mentions that Galleon is the mastermind behind the Krug's attack, and he became even stronger. Upon arriving at the village, the king expresses his condolences and apologies for failing to protect his people. While the kingdom officials are speaking, a villager suddenly informs them that the Krug have kidnapped some villagers. To address this issue, the kingdom wants to recruit brave villagers to fight back, but only a few are willing to join. Meanwhile, Farmer and the villagers are already disappointed with the king. So, Farmer decides to search for his wife and take revenge himself, which Bastion and Norik also want to help. Shortly after, Merrick approaches Norik, mentioning that they have met before, but Norik does not remember anything. After speaking with Norik, Merrick also approaches Farmer and persuades him to join the army, but Farmer remains uninterested. After that, Merrick resigns himself, advising Farmer not to die on the way, as the king will need him. Meanwhile, Galleon keeps charming Muriela, and she always falls for his words, even though he's secretly taking her energy. At the same time, Farmer is journeying through the forest with Norik and Bastion. Shortly after, they have to let go of their horses because they need to cross cliffs and rivers. Unfortunately, Norik and Bastion can't hold onto the ropes and fall into the river. However, Farmer pulls them back up to safety. At the same time, King Conrad's troops return to the palace. However, King Conrad is shocked to find a soldier sleeping in front of the gate, which should have been guarded by many guards. When the king enters, he sees Duke Fallow sitting on the throne, boldly wearing his crown. At that moment, the king is furious with Duke Fallow for his negligence while guarding the palace. Feeling hurt by the king's treatment, Duke Fallow then immediately approaches Galleon, wanting to accelerate the coup plan. Meanwhile, Galleon meets Muriela in her room, and she is surprised because Galleon uses teleportation, a power that he didn't have before. Upon seeing his strange behavior, Muriela begins to suspect something, especially since Galleon starts showing his temper. And as a result, Muriela drives him away. On the other hand, the Krug are taking captives to their base, and one of them is indeed Solana. At the same time, Norik and Bastion are getting tired after walking until midnight, where they persuade Farmer to rest for a while. Though initially reluctant, Farmer eventually feels sorry for them and agrees. Meanwhile, Duke Fallow approaches the king, who is currently eating to apologize for all his mistakes. Apparently this is all an act so that Duke Fallow can continue enjoying meals with the king. After that, the king immediately left to attend a strategy meeting to face the Krug. On the other hand, Merrick is near the Krug's base, where he secretly peeks inside and sees the villagers who are being held captive. Unfortunately, Merrick is unable to do anything for now. At the same time, Farmer and his companions continue their journey until they arrive at the Forbidden Forest. At that moment, Norik persuades Farmer to find another way, but this is the only path they can take. During the journey, the three of them start to sense something strange, and they are suddenly ensnared by creeping vines. After that, the forest dwellers appear, led by a woman named Alora while Farmer immediately asks her to release them from the vines. On the other hand, Muriela asks the king's permission to join the army because she does not want to just stay in her room. However, 
Before her request is granted, King Conrad suddenly collapses. It turns out that the king has been poisoned by the food he ate with Duke Fallow. At the same time, Duke Fallow is also in a critical condition, where he immediately asks Galleon to give him the antidote. However, before that, Galleon warns Duke Fallow that he is the true ruler. Not long after, Merrick comes back to the palace, where he quickly checks the king's condition. After examining him, he figures out that it was Galleon's doing. At the same time, Terish tells him that Duke Fallow has taken control of two groups of soldiers without the king's permission. Upon hearing this, Merrick realized that Galleon has used up his daughter's powers. After that he explained to Muriela how Galleon has been manipulating her. At that moment, Muriela feels sorry for getting involved with him, as she initially just wanted to learn magic and didn't know Galleon had bad intentions. That night, the king wakes up from his unconsciousness and Merrick asks him to rest first. However, King Conrad immediately gives orders to Terish to prepare the troops for battle. Apparently, King Conrad is aware that he doesn't have much time left, and he also knows that his nephew has betrayed him. Therefore, the king doesn't want to die in vain. After receiving the orders, Terish and Merrick immediately rush out. But before that, Merrick opens Terish's spiritual eye and shows him that Galleon has been hiding in the palace for a long time with Duke Fallow's help. At the same time, Farmer and his companions receive help from Alora to pass through the Forbidden Forest. Alora agrees to help because Farmer, Norik, and Bastion are not causing damage to the forest. When they reach the edge of the forest, they see the Krug gathered below. While the three of them are distracted, a Krug suddenly attacks Bastion. Fortunately, Farmer and Norik react quickly by killing the Krug. After that, Norik has the idea to strip the Krug and use its body parts as a disguise. Shortly after, they had successfully infiltrating the Krug area, where Farmer sees his wife being held in a cage. Unfortunately, Farmer and his companions are discovered by the Krug and are eventually beaten until they lose consciousness. On the other hand, Merrick decides to confront Galleon directly. At that moment, Merrick tries to persuade Galleon to abandon his plan, but Galleon is determined to proceed. Since Galleon refuses to back down, the king's side immediately raises the flag of war. However, Duke Fallow has hijacked part of the army and plans to collaborate with the Krug. At that moment, he falsely accuses Terish of poisoning the king, even though the king is still alive and will join the battle. As Terish's troops head to the battlefield, Farmer is being hanged by a Krug. However, this Krug is controlled directly by Galleon, who is curious about Farmer's true identity. According to Galleon, Farmer is the only human who is difficult to discern. When Galleon is momentarily distracted, Farmer suddenly rebels and killed the Krug. Unfortunately, Farmer faints immediately afterward. Meanwhile, Bastion and Norik are placed in the same cell as Solana and the other villagers. At that moment, Solana asks about Jeff and her parents, where Bastion reluctantly tells her that they have died. Upon hearing this, Solana immediately bursts into tears, while Norik reassures her that Farmer will come soon. At the same time, Farmer finally regains consciousness, while Merrick suddenly arrives and gives him medicine. On the other hand, Muriela was seen regretting herself that easily being seduced by Galleon's words. Upon seeing her in distress, Muriela's servant tries to comfort her. The servant also suggests that Muriela take swift action to make her father proud. After hearing this, Muriela wears her armor and prepares for battle. Shortly after, Merrick takes Farmer to the military post so he can receive proper care. At that moment, Terish is puzzled by Merrick after bringing a Farmer into the King's tent. Terish slightly underestimates him, especially since Farmer previously refused the King's invitation. But as the King's advisor, Merrick has the right to bring him here, and he knows that the King will need Farmer. After that, Merrick reveals Farmer's true identity in front of the King, where he was unexpectedly the king's long-lost son, which making him the rightful heir to the throne. However, Farmer seems unhappy with this revelation, especially since for the past 30 years, he has always felt abandoned. The scene then shifts to Duke Fallow's military post. Instead of strategizing, Duke Fallow is preoccupied with his own pleasures. Shortly after, Galleon sends a message through a crook, instructing Duke Fallow to burn the palace, after he intends to move the kingdom's capital. Though initially reluctant, Duke Fallow eventually agrees to Galleon's plan. 
The next day, Farmer appears ready to leave the post, where Farmer shows no concern for the king and chooses to save his family. However, Merrick continues to persuade him to join the army. In the afternoon, Tarish and his troops head to the battlefield to reclaim the soldiers hijacked by Duke Fallow. Thanks to the king's presence, Duke Fallow's soldiers switch back to the king's side. Additionally, Farmer finally decides to join the battle. On the other hand, with his forces taken, Duke Fallow now leads only his loyal followers, along with the crew controlled by Galleon. Once everything is ready, both sides launch their attacks. As time goes on, the war becomes very difficult for the kingdom because the Krug are not easily defeated. Besides being strong, their numbers keep increasing, even Farmer seems quite overwhelmed when facing the Krug. Additionally, Duke Fallow's army has fire cannons that can explode and burn the king's troops. Shortly after, Terish and Farmer finally realize that the mounted Krug are the brains behind their attacks, and if they can defeat them, the war will become easier. However, Terish struggles to get close to the mounted Krug. As the battle intensifies, Duke Fallow secretly shoots an arrow at the king, and one of the arrows pierces the king's chest. Upon seeing the king injured, Farmer becomes enraged and immediately kills the mounted Krug. After that, the Krug are eventually defeated in the battle, although Duke Fallow and his followers manage to escape from the battlefield. Fortunately, Muriela has already arrived at the Forbidden Forest to intercept Duke Fallow and his followers. Shortly after, Duke Fallow's followers are suddenly ensnared by vines, causing Duke Fallow to struggle. At that moment, Duke Fallow draws his sword and attacks Muriela, resulting in a fierce fight. However, Muriela is not alone as she was aided by Alora and her followers. In the end, they successfully capture Duke Fallow with his followers. On the other hand, Norik and Bastion decide to fight at the crew base, engaging in a very intense sword fight. While they battle, Solana urges a hostage named Talwin to find an escape route. However, during the process Norik died from Krug's stab, and they are eventually recaptured due to the overwhelming number of Krug. At the same time, Farmer is reminiscing about his childhood with King Conrad. At that moment, Farmer almost forgets the past events when he still lived in the palace. However, the king tried to remind him again, which made the farmer sad. After that they became closer like father and son, but unfortunately the king passed away. Shortly after, Muriela arrives at the battlefield with Duke Fallow tied behind a horse. Upon eeing this, Teresh immediately thanked her. After that, Teresh decided not to immediately execute him, but instead challenged Duke Fallow to a duel without any armor. Without delay, they immediately engage in a brutal fight. When Teresh gains the upper hand, suddenly the news that the king had died was immediately conveyed to them. This means Teresh cannot execute Duke Fallow, as he has now officially become king. And they can only remain silent, unable to do anything to Duke Fallow. While Duke Fallow speaks to the soldiers, Merrick suddenly appears before him. At that moment, Merrick reveals that the king died because of an arrow shot by Duke Fallow. After hearing Merrick's explanation, Terish immediately killed Duke Fallos. With his death, Farmer is officially declared the new king under the name Camden Conrad, prompting all soldiers to kneel before him. Farmer then gives a speech to motivate the soldiers because the war is not yet over. From a distance, Galleon watches Farmer's speech, feeling annoyed and angry. After that, Galleon decides to use Solana as bait to defeat Farmer. At that moment, Solana asks how Galleon knows she is Farmer's wife. But, Galleon didn't reply to Solana's question, but only said that she is pregnant, making Farmer's scent very noticeable. After hearing this, Solana feels weak. Back on the battlefield, Farmer and his troops are holding a funeral to honor King Conrad. After the funeral, Farmer prepares for the second battle. However, before this happens, Muriela asks for permission to join the army. Although Merrick disagrees, Farmer decided to allow it because Muriela played an important role in capturing Duke Fallow. Muriela also seeks permission to bring Alora and her companions. After the forest dwellers also want revenge on Galleon, who has been controlling the Krug and causing damage to their forest. Not long after, Muriela guides Farmer and Alora to a Chriswin Valley, where Galleon is holding the villagers hostage. The valley was not easy to enter except for powerful seers like Merrick. Elsewhere, Terish leads the troops to fight thousands of Krug prepared by Galleon. Even though they are outnumbered, 
the troops are not intimidated at all. Meanwhile, Merrick shows a shortcut to enter Chris Wynn. As Farmer and the others enter, Merrick decides to distract Galleon. Using his magical powers, Merrick confronts Galleon and challenges him to a duel using magic. Unfortunately, Galleon's power is too strong, causing Merrick to be stabbed. However, Merrick successfully buys time as Farmer and his companions manage to enter Chriswin. Shortly after, Muriela enters Galleon's room, where he's shocked and saddened to see Merrick lying weak. At that moment, Merrick chooses to transfer his remaining strength because he can no longer fight Galleon. After that, Merrick takes his last breath. At the same time, Bastion leads a rebellion to fight against the Krug. This also happens with Terish troops, who now have the upper hand in the battle. Wasting no time, Farmer quickly frees Solana from Galleon's clutches. However, before leaving, Farmer must first face Galleon. At that moment, Farmer draws his sword and engages in a duel. Despite Galleon using magic, Farmer managed to survive the attack. Feeling defeated in combat, Galleon resorts to trickery, using his ultimate move to swiftly kill Farmer. Luckily, Muriela arrives just in time, where she blocks Galleon's power, which preventing Farmer from being killed. As Galleon becomes distracted, Solana suddenly stabs him with a sword and Farmer immediately decapitate Galleon. After that, the Krug was free from Galleon's magic and returned to the forest, which resulting in the kingdom wins the war. And the film concludes. Moral lesson from the story, if you ever find yourself fighting Krug while chopping wood, make sure to double check your surroundings for any sneaky black smoke signals from your friend's house. It might just save the day.